Hi, it's Jill with CrickFlix. Working on scrapbooking today. And Shannon, um, I am going to put your link of your Etsy shop on my video so that folks can see the packets they're going to be able to get that you're starting on your digitals. All of this for the rest of you is done digitally by Shannon. And I will be putting her website, as I said, as I... Uh, finish up it'll be in there I'm um, anyways I it's a uh, the layout I'm doing is avatar from when we went to Disney uh, a couple months ago a few months ago oh, that avatar if anybody's not or been to Disney make sure you see avatar this is one of the colors of the background this would just be digital print without these on it what I was doing is print them printing them out two ways one with the digital on it and then the other would be without anything oh these digitals are so love 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 them now this one I'm not sure if this one was 300 dpi um, this Shannon is for you I'm not sure if there are probably maybe a limitation on how large this can be made because it comes out a little bit blurrier than the one I did here that's smaller um, but for me it doesn't make a bit of difference because most of what's in this picture is going to be there's going to be scrapbooking pictures over it so it doesn't really matter um, then I did this one Shannon I used this piece that you sent me on the bottom I just I, again I wanted to print some out just to see how they looked so that when I'm using these packets they can go to you Shannon this here I did with a border clip that I, not a, not a clip, it was a, I have a file that has all sorts of types of borders, like these, these kind of, they're cut all different, like the ribbons and things, and I just put one on the back here, and then the other piece was um, the, the kind of a foil looking, this, this um, polka dot is actually foil, it, it looks like a foil paper. Uh, it doesn't print out as a foil because it's not. <laughs> and then I put another edge up here, which is one that I picked up of, the, of these borders that I have. And again, I'm not going to be using these papers today because I just print them out after I worked on some of these other ones last night. But I am going to say I do love them. Oh, I missed one to show. And, and here's one more. Now, this one, I'm not really sure what is upside down I can't remember these I think this is the right way that it goes which makes yeah because in this picture I can see these guys are upside down the, these hangy things I love the colors I think they printed out awesome and, and they're really nice to work with the, this one particularly was just print out fabulous um, this was crisp as it could possibly be and the images that I have all pr printed out perfect uh, I will be going and pop dotting them over on the scrapbook pages because I like that. I like having that dimension. And got my pictures all matted here. The other picture, this was not one of your backgrounds, Shannon, but before I was able to open the other file up, I had already print this out and I'm not going to waste it. But then I redid this using the polka dot in the purple I believe it was the other one I was work, worked on here was in the blue yeah I mean I did it the other file but it's that polka dot foil looking paper in this color because I, I don't know I really like these colors together this has a little bit of it running through here I like how they look together and again I've already had printed this out now all of these elements for the rest of you are all ones that I added to this page to decorate it including the border down here I didn't redo the border down here but I did print out the rest of the things because I want to pop top them so I'm going to do that first before I lay out my pictures I'm going to find my pop dots maybe 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 not here they are I got them in a handy little couplet little bucket or something yeah, I'm having all sorts of computer trouble this morning, or the last, I don't know how long, I have been 
having an issue with um, my I can't set my home page when I go into my I work on a Mac if anybody knows the answer to this I researched it on Google uh, how to reset my home page on a Mac and it told me how which I already knew the the steps but the, I, I got to find a way um, for it to be explained that how do you do it when you don't have that option when you go to preferences you the preference for the home page is grayed out so I can't put my home type my home page in there it's I can type anywhere I want but not on the home page and I do not know what happened um, I don't know I don't know this happened to me once before that my home page switched but at least I could fix it and I did with the instructions that I found online but this one doesn't give me that option so I'm a little annoyed and now there was something else that I can't I can't do and I can't I don't know why um, but it drives me nuts and I mess around forever and waste so much time trying to fix those things now the one thing I will say on this where I did put these guys on here whenever I type or print out my clip art always now I'm going to re refract that sentence normally I would um, not put the offset on them when they're on the paper and they are not on the and there's no offset so there's no white showing around the edges on any of these they're just awesome clear but when I go to cut them out I have to weigh whether I want this perfection or if I want that uh, where I have the layer looked I have to make a decision between the two and because to cut it out I do a white offset only because on them there are some very, very, very narrow, thin parts. Like, for instance, this rod that he's holding is very thin and narrow. And that's Jenna calling me. It doesn't cut out good. And there's more on this bird, this bird, this dragon here. These pieces here are very, very thin. And they do not cut out well. So I would never recommend, if you're putting them on the paper like that, and that's how you want to, you don't want any white showing, put them on the paper and print them as one because if you do it this or if you don't I was going to say these pieces in here it's not that they won't cut out on the silhouette but they will they're not good for scrapbooking because they're really fine and they curl up that's my opinion what I did on him too is I cut the back side off and Shannon I'm not real sure but I want you to take a look because right down here when when you look at him there this looks like he has a backpack on I uh, but it looked like his back was cut off in that page. I'm pretty sure that's what the issue is because when I look at the printout, I can see his waistline. I couldn't see it when I was trying to look at it um, on my software. So just to be on the safe side, I went and cut his backside off so it didn't look like it was like he, he was cut off. I don't think that's what it is. So I think he's got something on his back. I'm going to have to look closer at that. Closer at that. That's for sure. Now, what did I do with my pop tops? Here we go. And, um, come on. There's a little tiny piece in there. Okay. And what else was I going to say? I can't remember. There was a whole bunch. But, I have forgotten it all. Uh, update on my mother. Um, did get her on some medications that they started on Friday for her anxiety and to kind of keep her in check on some of the things she's struggling with. I'm hoping that will work. She seems to be forgetting a lot more. It's gotten a lot worse since we moved her out, but they said that can also be uh, just the, ac the getting acclimated to the change. So. Not sure where she's at with that. I, I'm going to go see her tonight in my new car. You know what? I think I'll even take her for a ride in it. Yeah. I was trying to figure out my car. I'm going to have to sometimes have my grandkids in there when I go places. And my grandkids are not very neat in a car. I might have to make them sit in protective bags <laughs> if they're in my car. I do not like that at all. Okay, yeah, see, I like it. I like it. Boom! Popped! But, 
enough, it is nice though to print it out and, and pop that over it because you, you get, it's awesome. I love it. Shannon, I love it. Now, because there's some things that are hard, and I'll explain to you, because I think you'll watch this, Shannon, is that um, coming up with some things, like I said, unicorns or uh, mermaids, anything like that, and take all the colors in, in things with the corals and fish. I mean, there's uh, really bright colors I, I like with when I do a either a unicorn or a mermaid, both of them, but not a little mermaid, uh, but not whimsical. See, this stuff I absolutely love that I use to scrapbook, but it, that isn't what I wanted to show. Um, some of the stuff that I get at Clipping Magic, uh, not Clipping Magic, at Magic Maker. Clipping Magic is how I take around off the background. But that are not whimsical. I love these and I use them a ton. But try trying to cater more to the older kids um, that aren't really into the uh, little dolls and things like that. And to uh, adults for scrapbooking. I want to get away. I want to have unique things that cater to older. We've got I've got so much baby stuff. That's 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 primarily what you what you find when you when you're looking at um, all the clip art that there is out there. Most of it is whimsical. It. Uh, and I just want to start doing some things for the mature folks out there, which I don't fall into that category. They would refer to me as old. That would be, but I didn't get an old lady's car. See, I just found a way to just bring up my car flawlessly. I love it with the dimension. I wish you're not gonna see it as clear in pictures as I see it. It's jumping out at me and I'm loving it. I like that printed in these colors. I just I love it. My This movie, I just was absolutely in love with it. From I mean, I, I have the actual, I didn't go to the theater, but got the, the picture from my, my, or the CD from my daughter. And I loved it. And played that movie again and again and again. I have a picture of us all standing in front of what looks like one of these papers. Um, actually, I'm wondering if I should use one of these. Oh, I've got more pictures that I've got to make for more of the kids. I'm going to do something to tuck these in because, like I said, in the background, you can see those bright. That might have to... I've got more to do, so I'm going to go ahead and use these on what I've already got done. And then these three are going to be of my beautiful daughter and grandson yeah, out in front here. He could, didn't go on that ride because it was a little, he was too little. And so the line, I can't remember how long it took that we stood in line, but I, I did went on three times because I, yeah, this ride, oh, unbelievable. It was like watching the movie live. It was so cool. And I came home with the banshee that they gave me such a hard time because I wanted one that my husband kept saying, what are you going to do with one of those? What are you going to do with one of those? Well, you know, I didn't have anything that I wanted to do with it. I just wanted it. <laughs> and I was sitting in my Disney room on the head of the bed, clipped on, watching over. But um, uh, you don't always have to have a reason. I thought my reason was, was because I wanted it. Okay. Now, I wanted to leave as much print as I could in here. So I'm kind of trying to get these pictures. But I don't want to lose much of the background because it was the waterfalls. Oh, right, guys, I just went to Disney just a few months ago and I'm all ready to go back again. I just can't get enough. I don't know if anybody can get enough Disney. I know we've gotten some folks that had never gone went now they're doing the same thing going every year because it's just so amazing but this year i'm not going this year we're going to go on a camping um we're going to go to the smoky mountains with my whole family 
and I think the cabin that we rented, it's a lodge, sleeps 36 people or something like that. I can't remember, but we're, we're, we're all going to go. So I, um, I'm going to love that. I love Disney, and maybe my husband and I will just go to Disney by ourselves. Let me see. I've got this double mat. I'm just trying to figure out. Oh, I see. Now this is the same as this background. Not the same shape. I mean, it could be from anywhere, but um, I like how this goes with with her background. Chan, with your background here, goes awesome with this picture. And again, I don't want to cover up the beautiful digitals. These digitals, to do them like this, are really awesome because it doesn't take a whole lot of practice to figure out how to put it together. It's Yeah, I, I'm loving it. And I'm not going to put as many pictures on it so that I don't cover up the digital. Oh. I'm un unbelievably noisy today, guys. I'm sorry. I really am. Oh, I can't think of. There was just, there's so much has been going on. Just unbelievable. And things are awesome. Everything is going fantastic. With the exception my mother is not loving where she's at. But it's going fantastic for me that I can do whatever I want now. And the kids start school in a couple weeks. And I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Here's one that was that I didn't choose. You know what? No, I would I would use it here. However, I already have her here. And then I know what. Here's a baby avatar in a bird's nest. No, it's an avatar nest. Um, I think. No, I don't want to put it there either because this one I, I printed out too big. That it's bigger than the dragon. And I know it's not real, and the dragons couldn't be way off the background. But I'm going to leave it. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a little bit of glitter and just do some accents on it. And the, and to do the glitter after you put the page together makes it a whole lot easier because you can see exactly where you're hitting and exactly where you want to do your, your popping, your extras in the, in the, I don't know in the what. I don't know what I'm talking about. See, I did very, very, very little. Don't want a lot. Like my my granddaughter would say, dot, dot, not a lot. So we're going to go with that, dot, dot, not a lot. Add a little bit to... I did not glitter the, uh, the individuals. And I'm not going to. I'm just going to glitter inside here the Pandora. Okay. So I like. I like the way that pops out. I like it, do it. Okay. Ooh. I wonder if you can hear the bomb bursting in air. Can you hear the planes? I live relatively close to the airport. Not that close that you can see it from my backyard, but close enough that the everything is either taken off or landing. You can hear a lot of times. Not always. Depends on what it was. That was some jets going over it. Probably the getting ready for a show or something. Trying to get everything in in the in the um, remainder of summer that we have. These are all stickles that I'm using here that I get from scrapbookpal.com. The pages are 12 by 12 inch. I didn't give you any of that information when I started, um, and I do them is a set so that when they're in the book and you open it you have pages that go together go together or flow together um and i don't think i use this this is a different color 
Um, I have done some scrapbook pages for this little baby girl. She's a year old and found out, I think it's grandma. I'm pretty sure it's grandma. They're 12 by 12 layouts and she got them and made it and you know told me she loved them and that she was um, going to be using them nope, not that way on her hanging them in frames which I think is an awesome idea and what I thought and I'm going to share this and I'm, maybe you're watching um, is after like she's a year old now if every year or months or however you would want to do it change those pictures out you have their pages all done and just let, put them in the scrapbook in the, in the order that you do them. And then you're killing two birds with one stone. You can show off and have them hanging on your wall for visitors and then throw them in a scrapbook for your granddaughter one day. My grandkids love to pull out the scrapbooks and look from when they were born. And I think it's kind of funny because they're still really little. I mean, not babies, but... I would consider them little that probably wouldn't have much interest in that sort of thing. But even my sons, who I would assume just didn't care, period, no, no big deal, but they love them and they always want to look at them. We dig them out quite frequently, a lot. We were just looking, I was just looking at one um, where we went to Mexico and went scuba diving with my brother that passed away last year and um, I was planning on going. My husband and I were going to be going and surprise him that we were going to go with him. Um, again, we'd gone years ago, not years, it was like eight years ago or so. And he kept bugging and bugging. He wanted to go again and wanted us to go with him. We had just so much fun. I never laughed so hard in my entire life. And we couldn't go back because my husband couldn't get a Venezuelan passport because every time he went to get one, they said they were all out of them. Well, we don't have to worry about it now because he became a citizen. And we decided, you know, to get the ball rolling and we were going to go with my brother and sister-in-law to Mexico again, to Cozumel. Cozumel is where we stayed. And unfortunately, my brother passed away. And um, my sister-in-law was here this past weekend and she wants to go back. They have a timeshare there which is where he passed away, and set us up about going back there. And I, I, I said, I don't know if I could handle it. Um, but she said that she has peace when she goes there because she feels his presence. They have gone there for years. They, they were big travelers, big, huge travelers. And she likes going there because she said she can feel, feel him there. And I'm like, man, I don't know. I don't know if I could handle it. But I'll keep you posted if I'm going to be going to Mexico. Okay, I added the glitter to the page, but I didn't do these guys. I just wanted something to pop up there. I wonder if I should put. I'm going to look and you know, I'm going to let you guys go about your day until the next one. I'll get some pictures taken, and I may be adding a saying, something of some some nature up over here. But. Anyway, Shannon, I love them. I cannot wait to open those other files that I'm having troubles with. And I know it's me. I'm having problems with my computer. But I'll keep playing with it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.